it was her family. So my spiritual journey has not always been easy. Last week I shared with you um, not being a part of the community, the body of godly men and godly women, um, being discipled and walked with, with throughout this spiritual journey. And as I said last week, Jesus is enough. But he do encourages us to be a part of the body and and you know walk together along the journey. Um, but today I want to bring to you that another reason was um, he began to move my circle from around me, which you know it was a bit uncomfortable in the beginning because I didn't understand. Although I prayed years prior to for him to change me and remove this alcoholic taste that I had from me, I did not embrace the prayer. I did not embrace the, the request. In fact, I continued to indulge in, um, you know, drinking crazy and, you know, hanging out and going, you know, kicking with people who did what I did. <clears throat> so one of the first things he began to do was go after my desires. Um, so he began to remove, gradually move that taste from my mouth. And when a couple of those individuals began to move further away from, you know, where we used to kick it at, you know, it made it a little, it made it a little easy. And in the process around that time, I spent much more time with him. And the more time I spent with him, the more he started to change my desires. I had no, I, I, I didn't have any more desires to go to this place and that place, hanging out, drinking, kicking it, and just not doing anything with my life. I no longer wanted to do that anymore, so I didn't. Um, and then, and then um, the next thing he did was he removed the person who I looked up to, um, to the highest regard, um, I would say somewhat idolized, he removed him from my circle. Um, actually, I say circle, that was by the head. Um, and, you know, it was, it, that was, it was kind of disturbing because, you know, I woke up, I was working out of town and uh, I woke up to a text message and, you know, it was, it was very disturbing, as I said, and I asked God, why is this bothering me so much? And he told me, I removed you some time ago, but the thing is, you didn't know because you were still holding on to what I have already removed you from. That's why you feel it the way you feel it. And Minutes later, he told me, but don't worry because I'm taking you to a place no man can keep you and also to a place no man can get you to. So embrace it. So what I want to tell you, your spiritual journey. Last week, I encouraged you to get a part of the community, the body of Christ of godly men and godly women really trying and walking really putting forth great efforts to live out their spiritual life in Christ so today I want to tell you that there are some people that you're going to have to let go because they are a distraction God can't spend the time he wants to spend with you if you're giving them all of your time. If you're not making time for him, then either he will make it uncomfortable to where you're forced to let go or you can make the decision to let go. Now, it'll still be a little difficult, but it'd be a little easier because for me once God revealed to me what I just shared with you I understood I understood why he did it 
So you must understand that it's, it's, it's necessary for you to let go because God can't. You can't take certain individuals with you where God is taking you. You can't. It won't work. It's not going to happen. So make the decision and be willing to let go of whoever it is God is telling you to let go of. Whether you hear him letting you, letting you know to let go or not, there will be signs. It will be obvious signs. Do not ignore them. No, it's not that you're better than the individuals who you grew up with or kicked it with for years. It's that you're choosing a better life. You're choosing the life that God created you to have. And the only way you can have that life, if you release those individuals, release those things, be willing to let go of those habits and allow him to allow his power to remove those things from you. And in the process, cling to him, get closer to him, learn more about him, begin to walk with him. And just because you're making the decision to walk away now does not mean it's permanent. It's just right now, it's necessary for you to let go. And once you do that, God will redirect your path. He'll begin to show you the plans that he has for you. He will begin to walk with you. He will begin to guide you. He will begin to fill you up with his spirit as you remain in his word and continue to seek him. He will give you the wisdom that you need. You will learn that everything that God created you to do, he, had, he has already placed it inside of you upon, upon birth. All you have to do is just accept the responsibilities, embrace his will, and begin to walk with him. And I promise you, it'll make your journey a little more easier once you understand. And now that I'm going to share with you, now you understand why God has been pulling you in a certain direction. And that direction that he is, he has been pulling you in is away from where you once was, away from the individuals, the circles you were once in, the places that you once hung out in. He's taking you to a new place. You have to be willing to let go. You can't get there if you're holding on to what's in the past. Go walk into your future. He has great plans for you. He said, well, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, but plans to bring you hope in the future. Accept the responsibility. Embrace his will. Surrender to him and begin to walk with him. And he'll show you to the life he created you to have. Walking in your calling and living out your purpose. And trust me, you're not the only one that's going through it. You're not the only one that will go through it. When I tell you your struggles are my struggles, I mean that because I've been there. And some things I'm still going through, but I know it's for my good because I know he's taking me somewhere. He's preparing a place for me. He got some for me and I want to know all about it. And I don't want to do it without him. Make the decision to never, ever do it without him, but do it with him. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.